Last week I made a video about this website called Drawback Chess. The idea is both sides play normal chess with a random disadvantage. Video link in the description below. But I ended up not very happy because my drawback was considered easier than my opponents. Therefore today, I decided to play another game, but unlike last time I avoided putting in my rating points. This time, I will put in my ELO, as 99,999. Give me Magnus Carlsen. They gave me the big camel instead. My drawback, adventurous, you can't move a piece less far than it could move. I'm already regretting the elo part. Well at least the pawns are exempted from the rules, g3, wait what? A piece is any chess piece, including pawns. I don't exactly agree with that, but it's okay, it is their website, b4 then. In fact I remember that I have actually built a pretty good foundation of openings for these kinds of challenges while making normal videos, so I'm confident to say that we will last at least the first 10 moves of the game. e5. Bishop a3. The plan is very simple. My bishops are way too flexible, so I will try to trade them down, and then make some good plays with my knights, because they always move the same distance which means the knights are actually exempted from the drawback. d5. Taking the full center, now I know my opponent is at least a decent player. b5. Of course as a decent player, he will trade them bishops. He did. Knight takes a3. Queen f6. I'm not actually afraid of queens, c4. In case you are wondering, my opponent also has a drawback of his own, we just don't know what it is yet. It should be easier than ours because I put my elo as nearly 100,000 points, but still if we somehow figure out what his drawback is, we can try to take advantage of it. Knight h6. That's a weird move, but not enough data to conclude anything. I'll take his pawn then. I need the c-file open for my rook, and then a future queen a4 b6 discovered check will prove to be very dangerous. Knight g4. I have to be honest I didn't see that coming. I was playing the game seriously, so my brain didn't think about a scholar's mate in a serious game. Pawn takes will be better for us, but I'm fine with queen takes as well. Queen takes. Knight f3. e4. g3. He takes f3. He is baiting me to take his queen and then he can checkmate my king with a pawn, that looks a lot like a smothered mate so it would be absolutely humiliating. e takes f3 then. This is the only way I can trade queens with him, because after queen e5 check, I can block the check with my queen, which forces a queen trade, and I only hope that my calculation is correct because I don't know if they programmed it so that it forbids my queen from blocking the check just because she has a longer move in a different direction. But we'll know it eventually. Or not. Your opponent's drawback was Botez Gambit. At the start of turn 11, you must not have a queen, and your opponent must have a queen. So I think this one is not very hard but it creates a very stressful gaming experience for my opponent, because he is forced to make a losing trade just to get rid of his queen. But who cares anyway? Drawback chess, 200% win rate.